Preparations for the Lok Sabha elections in Maharashtra are turning out to be truly, truly turbulent and it's all going down to the wire, at least as far as seat allotment and seat sharing is concerned. Disagreement among the opposition Aghadi leaders over seat sharing is escalating with no end in sight in Maharashtra, but things aren't quite perfect even in the ruling side. But first, let's talk about the opposition. The Shiv Sena, UBT, that's the Udhav Sena, the Sharad Pawar, MCP faction and the Congress are at very public loggerheads. The Udhav Sena has claimed that even they have compromised on seats like Ramtek and Kolapur. And Sharad Pawar is actually expressing how fed up he is with the proceedings so far. Take a look. Seat sharing in Maharashtra is becoming a nightmare for the opposition India bloc. Tensions are rising between the Shiv Sena UBT, Sharad Pawar's NCP and the Congress. The Congress and NCP have questioned the Uddhav Sena's unilateral release of candidate list that included the disputed seats of Sangli, Mumbai South Central and Mumbai Northeast. Now the Sena UBT has hit back at its allies. But I कि हमारी लिस्ट आई है और सीट शेयरिंग की चर्चा लगभग पूरी हो चुकी थी अब रामटेक हमारी सीटिंग सीट है मैं जरूर ये मानता हूँ कि सांगली में कांग्रेस पार्टी का केडर है हमारा भी है कोलापुर में भी हमारा था रामटेक में हमारा था अब एक केडर महाविकास आगाड़ी के साथ अगर आता है तो सांगली वाली सीट महाविकास आगाड़ी को हम दे सकते हैं ना हम कोलापुर की जगह दोनों लड़ते थे दोनों सांसद शिवसेना के थे हमने अपनी जगह जो 30 वर्ष हमें हमारे पास है वो जगह छोड़ दी द कांग्रेस इज लिविड विद द सेना फॉर फील्डिंग अ कैंडिडेट फ्रॉम सांगली व्हिच इज अ पार्टी स्ट्रांग होल्ड देखिए सांगली की सीट पे कांग्रेस कार्यकर्ता बहुत आग्रही है ये वास्तव है क्योंकि दो साल दो चुनाव से वहां हम हार रहे हैं और भाजपा का प्रत्याशी वहां जीत रहा है उनके खिलाफ एंटी इनकम्बेंसी है लेकिन फिर भी महायुति अब देखिए तीन तीन पार्टियां दोनों तरफ है तो चुनाव तो ताकत से लड़ना पड़ेगा सबसे अच्छा प्रत्याशी देना पड़ेगा और सब मिलकर उसका अगर प्रचार करेंगे तब जीत जाएंगे शरद पवार टू है There is speculation that NCP Pawar faction will declare its candidates without waiting for a final pact, though party leaders have played down the rift. It's only about one seat, and I'm sure we'll work it out. See, we are a democratic alliance, so everybody has a right to speak their mind. This is a democracy, yeah. BJP leader Devendra Fadnavis has cited the divide in the MVA to target Uddhav Thakre. सलमान्य उद्धव ठाकरे जी का अनुभव आम्मी खूब वर्ष घे आम ये सवय आता कांग्रेस रहा तो सवय कर As Maharashtra braces itself for the upcoming elections, the outcome of these intense negotiations will not only shape the political landscape of the state, but also have far-reaching implications for the future of the coalition government. With Sora Bhaktanya in Mumbai Bureau Report India Today. All right, joining me live from the state that's throwing up so much suspense and turbulence over a seat allotment with just 22 days to go for the elections is our Mumbai chief uh, Sahil Joshi. I'll start with Mustafa Sheikh on uh, the Agadi's troubles as far as seat sharing is concerned. You know, ugly words have been used. Sanjay Nirupam in open attack mode, threatening to quit. Uh, uh, you know, the NCP Sharad Pawar faction. Uh, you know, expressing its exasperation, Mustafa, over the manner in which things are actually playing out. The Congress and the Udhav Sena appear to be in open warfare mode. Uh, is there an end in sight to these seat-sharing troubles? Well, uh, Shiv, it seems like it has just started because as these things uh, go on, it seems that if the Sangli uh, seat is not given uh, uh, to Congress, it seems that mm. they have de been demoralized. They are saying that entire Western Maharashtra will be facing uh, this impact. They are still having a fight with the NCP over a seat in Bhivandi. So Congress is being really uh, uh, poked by its own leaders, be it Sanjay Nirupam, be it MLAs like Zishan Siddiqui, who was saying that Congress is taking a discounted deal from Shiv Sena. 
शिवसेना इज ऑल आउट टू फिनिश कांग्रेस फ्रॉम मुंबई एंड महाराष्ट्र एंड हेंस कांग्रेस इट सीम्स दैट इज एट दिस टाइम ऑन अ बैक फुट एंड दिस इज द मेन टाइम वेन दिस अलायसेज आर रियली नीडेड ऑल थ्री लीडर्स विद उद्धव ठाकरे शरद पवार एंड लीडर्स फ्रॉम द कांग्रेस नीड टू कम ऑन वन स्टेज देर हैव टू बी पब्लिक रैलीज एंड ड्यूरिंग दिस टाइम इफ लीडर्स आर मेकिंग सच कमेंट्स अगेंस्ट ईच अदर इट रियली सीम्स एट दट मोमेंटम विच वॉज गोइंग ऑन फॉर द लास्ट फाइव इयर्स इन द एम वी ए इज स्लोली और इज डैमेज विद द काइंड ऑफ सीट अलॉटमेंट विच हेज टेकन प्लेस शरद पवार टू इट्स पार्टी वर्कर्स ऑफ रिकॉर्ड हेज वेंट ऑन टू से दट दीट शेयरिंग आइडियली शुड हैव बीन डिसाइडेड ऑल थ्री पार्टीज सिटिंग टूगेदर पार्टीज डूइंग इट सेपरेटली हैज लेड टू कन्फ्यूजन एंड मिस अंडरस्टैंडिंग बैक टू यू Okay, so it's like uh, almost like a too many cooks spoiling the broth, which is how the BJP has tried to paint both the Agadi and the India Alliance at large. Is that actually coming true in Maharashtra? We'll have to wait and see. But time is very, very short. Thanks, Mustafa. Sahil, continue to stay with me. But like I said, the troubles and the frictions are not only in the Agadi side, the Mahayuti side, the ruling Mahayuti Alliance, which comprises the. Uh, the, the, the the Shinde Sena, the BJP, and the Ajit Pawar faction of the NCP. There is a semblance of stability there. The Mahayuti Alliance in Maharashtra has finalized its Lok Sabha seat sharing agreement and will be announced any time. However, deliberations saw a tussle arising after independent MP Navneet Rana was fielded from Amravati on a BJP ticket. The conflict also remains between the allies over the Nashik seat. while the issue over baramati has now finally been resolved what's this report then we bring in sail vishwas thevlela ata pare the mahayuti alliance in maharashtra is close to sealing a seat sharing deal for lok sabha elections sources say the bjp is likely to contest 28 seats cm eknath shinde shiv sena 14 and ajit pawar's ncp 5 seats Mahadev Jankar's Rashtriya Samaj Party will get one seat. The BJP's decision to induct independent MP Navneet Rana into the party and field her from Amravati has not gone down well with its allies. हमारे देश के प्राइम मिनिस्टर जी ने पहचाना और मुझे नई एक एम पी को सेकेंड टाइम अटेम्प करने को उन्होंने आज टिकट प्रवेश में जगह पार्टी में प्रवेश दिया जो विचारधारा हमारे भारतीय जनता पार्टी की है वही विचारधारा से पिछले में कई वर्षों से काम कर रही तो मुझे लगता है बहुत दूर नहीं थी परिवार के बीच में ही थी सिर्फ आज ऑफिशियली एक प्रवेश हुआ है मौत का कुआ होता है ना क्यों पूरा विरोध उधर है केस उसके आगे जाने वाली है तो फिर कैसा चुनाव लगे तो आपको लगता है वहाँ से जीत पाएंगे सर कैसे नहीं सब विरोध है उनके खुद पार्टी का विरोध है A decision on allocating a seat to Raj Thakre's Maharashtra Nav Nirman Sena is yet to be made. According to sources, if the alliance opts to allocate a seat to the MNS, either the Shiv Sena or the BJP will have to sacrifice a seat. Out of the 28 seats allocated to it, the BJP has finalized candidates for 23. Candidates for five seats: Mumbai North Central, South Mumbai, Shirdi, Ratnagiri, Sindhu Durg, and Satara are yet to be decided. Meanwhile the Nashik seat is being claimed by all three parties BJP Shiv Sena and NCP Currently the constituency is represented by Shiv Sena's Himan Gotse Nashik ke liye jo humne kaam kiya hai sanghatnatmak kaam ho jo shaskiya yojnaye ho logo tak pahunchana ke pahunchane ka kaam badi zor se kiya hai aur isliye hum nishchit roop se yahan pe Shiv Sena ki seat को जीता के ला सकते है कार्यकर्त्या मत हि सीट अपन लड़वली पाजे राष्ट्रवादी कांग्रेस निशाने पर घड़ा निशाने पर राष्ट्रवादी कांग्रेस पक्षा जे कहीं आम्मी नशिक जो को उम्मेदवार ठरेल तो निवकी उ The Mahayuti leadership has been able to resolve the dispute over Baramati seat which was claimed by both NCP and Shiv Sena. Baramati the bastion of the Pawar family is likely to see a face off between Sharad Pawar's daughter Supriya Sule and Ajit Pawar's wife Sunetra. Bureau report India today. I want to bring in India today Sahil Joshi for a perspective on the turbulence over seats that's taking place on both sides of the divide in Maharashtra. Uh, you know we've shown our viewers reports on 
uh, the frictions that are taking place both in the Agadi as well as the Mahayuti, uh, which, you know, which ones are more difficult to resolve in your view, Sahil? Give us a perspective on how serious these frictions are. Well, uh, the frictions within Mahavikas Agadi are at the party level because there is a mm. fight between the Shiv Sena UBT versus Congress over uh, seat sharing and specifically with respect to the Sangli seat. I mean, uh, the, the, you know, the spread of uh, that conflict is not beyond Sangli. Uh, mm. And it is most likely because now Sharad Pawar has intervened and uh, Pawar is saying, you know, solve this issue as early as possible uh, because now they have to plan a joint campaign. So the alliance is going to be intact. Only uh, the bad blood uh, which, 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 which we saw in last couple of days is basically on the uh, seat of Sangli because both the parties wanted that particular seat and Uddhav yes. Thakre uh, announced uh, uh, his candidate and that is the reason why the Congress reacted the way it reacted. Now, what is happening in Bahayuti is not at the party level, but it is happening at the local level. Like uh, mm. Navni Trana, uh, taken into BJP and fielded in Amravati, in, uh, which is an SC seat, uh, which has uh, created an issue within the Bahayuti leaders uh, in Amravati. Like Anand Rao Adsul, who, who left Uddhav Thakre and joined Ekna Chinde, former yeah. minister in, um, uh, in Vajpayee cabinet, has openly said that Navni Trana is not acceptable and he is going to campaign against Navni Trana. Uh, a local MLA uh, who, is, who runs a small organization called Prahar is a small party uh, in Mahayuti, part of the government, has yes. clearly said that Navneet Rana is not acceptable. He is going to campaign against uh, Navneet Rana. Similarly, in Baramati, uh, Ajit Pawar being now part of Mahayuti has not been liked by many people who actually mm. left respective parties to join BJP because they were having tussle with uh, Ajit Pawar at the local level, like uh, Harshavardhan Patil, former Congress uh, uh, leader joined BJP because he couldn't get along with uh, Ajit Pawar uh, in, in, in his uh, constituency. Uh, yes. Similarly, uh, 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 you know, Vijay Shivtare, who is part of Shiv Sena, has been campaigning against Ajit Pawar ever since uh, Uddhav Thakre decided to form an alliance with the Congress and NCP. He right. also left Uddhav Thakre because uh, uh, that time Uddhav Thakre was with uh, NCP and Ajit Pawar was part of the NCP. Now that uh, Ajit Pawar's own wife is now uh, a candidate mm -hmm. there in Baramati has created a lot of problem. And that is the reason why these frictions are happening. Many people who joined BJP in 2019 thinking that in 2024 they will be resettled in the politics, give, will be given ticket, are now, uh, have now found themselves completely you know, unattended because there are yeah, multiple yeah, partners true. in Mahayuti with the BJP at this point of time. So they were mm. hoping to get a ticket in 2024 and now suddenly they have realized that there is a Shiv Sena candidate or there is an NCP <laughs> candidate. They are fighting for their political survival and looking for options at this point of time. So, uh, you know, uh, 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 jokingly in Maharashtra, now Devendra Fadnavis residence has been called, uh, you know, uh, grievances solving uh, <laughs> center because everybody is bringing that gr their grievances to <laughs> Devendra Fadnavis is trying very hard because he is the one who had promised them in 2019, okay, in 2024 you will be accommodated in Lok Sabha, yeah, you will yeah. be given ticket in Lok Sabha and now he is unable to do anything about it. So that issue is going to uh, linger around very even when the campaign is, uh, campaign is around and that is what is going to be the problem. Whereas in okay. Mahavika Sagadi, the issue will be sorted once the candidates will be finalized. Uh, and, okay. uh, uh, you know, there are only four seats which had, uh, you know, on which there was a dispute. Uh, one seat hmm. from Bhivandi hmm. where the NCP, Sharad Pawar and the Congress were at the loggerheads uh, in Sangli, as we already know, and a couple of seats in Mumbai. As far as Sanjay okay. Nirupam's seat is concerned, the Congress had already decided to give that seat to uh, Uddhav, Thakre, uh, yes. uh, Uddhav Thakre's party. But, you know, they thought, uh, the Congress thinks that... Uh, uh, sometimes the Congress, the problem with the Congress is that the, even if they are uh, winning one or two seats in 2014 mm, and mm. 19, they still think that they can, you know, with uh, riding uh, riding on the wave of alliance, they can uh, better their performance this time in 2024, and that is where the friction has started. Okay. So you know we'll have to wait and see because now uh, Bhavika Sagar right. is having a meeting. Uh, Sharad Pawar, Uddhav Thakre and Congress leaders are meeting at this point of time to solve right. this issue to uh, uh, you know, finalize a campaign strategy, whereas there will be a press okay. conference of Mahayuti maybe tomorrow, today or tomorrow uh, to finally iron out the differences what they are seeing at this point of time. So it's going okay. to be very interesting in a couple of days. There are two months to go for uh, 20th no, no, May, the last uh, voting will happen in Mumbai. 
Absolutely. Hugely, hugely yes, yes, interesting. Sure. Two months to go, but only 22 days left for elections to actually start. Can, uh, you know, uh, can both the sides actually project a semblance of alignment over these frictions? We'll have to wait and see. Time is definitely short. Sahil, thank you very much for that comprehensive overview on where things are at as far as Maharashtra is concerned. Turning out to be the most tantalizing state this Lok Sabha election. We've got some breaking news coming in. And we're hearing now that the Delhi police is all set to investigate Congress national spokesperson and social media chairperson Supriya Shridev for her for the post that appeared on her Instagram handle denigrating and abusing Kangana Ranaut using the metaphor of a prostitute for her candidacy from the constituency of Mandi in Himachal Pradesh. Delhi Lieutenant Governor V.K. Saxena has sought a detailed investigation report from the Delhi Police Commissioner into the abusive derogatory post that appeared on Congress leader Supriya Srinath's Instagram handle against Kangana Ranaut. To be clear, Supriya Srinath has not only condemned the contents of the post, she's also said that she did not post it personally, that it was someone from her team who had access to her account. BJP leader Basuri Swaraj, also a candidate in the Lok Sabha election, had written a complaint to the Lieutenant Governor demanding an investigation and registration of FIR against Supriya Srinath for quote-unquote outraging the modesty of a woman. The LG has forwarded that complaint to the police commissioner and directed them to investigate the matter scientifically and take legal action as per the law. Kumar Kunal breaking the story first here on India Today. Uh, Kunal... Uh, uh, following Supriya Srinath's clarification a few days ago about that abusive post that appeared on her uh, social media, uh, you know, nothing further has been heard. We don't know if the Congress has filed an FIR or is investigating through the police. But now, uh, the, 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 uh, you know, following the Lieutenant Governor's letter to the Delhi police, is the Delhi police going to file an FIR and investigate this? You know, uh, the, what we are uh, listening and what we are learning from the LG House Force is that uh, LG VK Saxena himself talked to the Delhi Police Commissioner and he instructed the Police Commissioner to investigate the matter uh, properly and scientifically and to find out whatsoever details are there to uh, find the truth behind the post. Actually, uh, you mentioned that Supriya Sinead claimed that uh, it was not her, but someone from her team had posted that uh, that uh, picture and that post. It's still uh, not uh, quite convincingly she, uh, she mentioned that who actually put that post, which created a lot of controversy. So the now police will investigate the matter and then they will find out that who was the real culprit and if uh, what uh, Stupia Srinath is claiming that is true or not. So a very interesting time to come and uh, police will look into the matter, not just look into the matter, they will properly investigate and find out the details and find out the truth behind that controversial post. Alright, Kunal, thanks very much for joining us uh, with that update on Supriya Srinath's social media. Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Microsoft founder and the world's richest man Bill Gates held an interaction today on artificial intelligence and payments and the growth of Digital India. These are images from that interaction. I am using my Nemo app. This is my photo booth. Now you take a selfie. Wow. One of the themes I think India brings to technology is that it, it should be available for everyone. Well, India brings to the climate uh, change a rich, rich history of caring about the environment. This jacket is the recycled material. We have made climate friendly. 
आज हमारे प्रगति के सारे पैरामीटर एंटी क्लाइमेट ड्यूरिंग द पेंडेमिक वाज फैंटास्टिक दैट द वैक्सीन्स गॉट इन्वेंटेड इन इंडिया मेड लॉट ऑफ दोस हाउ डिड यू मैनेज द कम्युनिकेशन आप लोगों को एजुकेट कीजिए और उनको साथ लेकर के चलिए ये वायरस वर्सेस गवर्नमेंट नहीं है ये लाइफ वर्सेस वायरस की लड़ाई योर वन ऑफ द हार्डेस्ट वर्किंग पीपल एवर when you do want to relax do you have a game or something that helps you to take time off mujhe bahut acha laga aur kai vishayon par aaj gappe marne ka mauka mila 